Simple Cyber Defense Weekly Updates for April 19, 2020. Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking again about the coronavirus scams. Since everyone's in isolation, the biggest scams going around are the stimulus check scams. As this week saw that the first rounds of stimulus checks have been sent out, and many hackers have tried their best to trick people into giving them the checks instead of the recipients. Many of the scams require people to click on links through either through email or through um, text messages saying that in order to get the payment they have to click on these links in order to put in their personal information. But if they do that, the hackers are the ones that end up with the stimulus checks, not you. So to ensure that you get yours, the only place to go to is the official IRS website, irs.gov slash coronavirus slash economic impact, impact payments. The links will be in the description. This page is broken up into two sections. One is for the people who have filed their taxes already, the 2019 taxes, and the other one is for people who have yet to file their taxes in 2019. The reason why the 2019 taxes need to be filed is the stimulus checks will be given based upon how much you make. If you make more than $75,000, you don't get the full amount. And every increment up above $75,000, you get less and less. So if you have filed your taxes, the first thing you do when you go to this website is to click on the button that says get my payment. Here you'll be given a page where you will tell you will tell you the things that you need to have. The things that you'll need is the payment status, your payment types, and whether you, they need more information from you. So after you get everything that you need you will click on the get my payment button on this page. Here you're greeted with this government system is for authorized use only. This is to inform you that this will only be used for the stimulus checks and all information that you give will be only given to the IRS and no one else. So then when you agree to them you'll put in your your personal information which includes your social security number date of birth, street address, and zip code. These, This information is needed to identify you within their system. Once you put in your information, you'll be given to, you'll be directed to another page, which you will have to put in your, a, the exact gross income that appears on your tax return. This is very important. So if you do not put the exact amount that is on your tax return here, then you will be denied access. So so it's very important to make sure that you have the exact information from your tax returns. So the next section is for people who have yet to pay their taxes or file their taxes. So in the non-filer section, you'll click on the non-filers enter payment information here. You'll be greeted to a page which will give you information like when you should use the non-filers system, who is eligible, who will receive the economic payments, and who should use non-filers information. 
After you read, read all that information, you'll click on the non-filers enter payment info here. This will redirect you to a web page that will guide you in how to file your 2019 taxes. This is very important because again, the stimulus checks will be based upon how much you've made during the 2019 year. After you put in all that information, make sure you put in the correct information that you want to get the stimulus checks. If you want it through direct deposit, make sure you put your banking information when you file the taxes, or make sure you put the valid address that you want your, your stimulus checks and tax return to be sent to. So it's very important to make sure that you are on the correct website. The only website you should be going to is the irs.gov website. Any other website is a scam website, which will probably steal not only your information, but also your stimulus checks. So everyone should stay diligent in making sure that they get the money that they deserve. And also make sure that you are keeping your distance from people washing your hands and staying safe and we will see you in the next episode if you like what was in this episode please consider liking subscribing and sharing with others for more information to suggest a topic or to donate head over to simplecyberdefense.com